Suppose somebody puts a condition, go get rid of these drugs, get rid of the smoking, get rid of the, what is that, uh, your uh, coffee, tea and all that stuff, then come to me. The fellow will say, he'll give you up, he will keep those things with him. So the teacher is not interested in what you had, what you did not have, what role you had, what you didn't have, but interested in himself. The person is himself. So, how long it will take? The dresses you have, body, relative example, the dresses you have, body you are, how many dresses you have already changed throughout your life until now? From first year to 80th year, 70th year, 90th year, whatever you are old, how many dresses have gone? Body is one. The body is also a dress. It was a small baby. 10 year, 20 year, 30 year, 40 year, 50 year. Mind is same. Mind is same. Just as a statement I am giving you. The thoughts are seem to be young. The thoughts don't grow old as though. I am same. I who was thinking I am young. I am same. I am an adult. I am old. Listen carefully. Beautiful. When I am 10 year old. What shall I say? I am 10 year old. Can I tell that time I am 20 year old? You have to wait for 10 years for the body to grow 20 for you to say I am 20. For you to say you are 70 year old, you have to wait for the body to grow 60 years for you to say you are 70. Instant wisdom. I am there. The Upadhi has to change, grow. Same way. Thoughts are also dresses. You are naked in the beginning. Absolutely naked. Pure consciousness. The child is not born with the thoughts. But surely not unconscious. But he is not conscious that he is conscious. That continues for some time. Think of it, friends. Every thought is a dress. And how many dresses you have put? <sighs> Physics, chemistry, mathematics, geography, father, mother, husband, brother, wife, I mean Indian, American, Australian. Oh, how many, many? Married, unmarried. Oh, I was a father, now I'm a widower, now I'm a widow, I'm a child, I'm the... You understand. Forgetting. So many roles, dresses have gone. But who you are? Always the same. That is always the same in and through every thought, every perception, every condition of the body in the object. Now, a teacher who is aware of it, shall he insist on asking what all things you are doing when ultimately they have no meaning? Ultimately, if you have to drop it, why should you hold on to it? It's you are holding on to it, not that they are holding on to you. This is wisdom absolute. Jnana, knowledge, pure and simple. So when Swamiji says, what do they know about God? What do they know about anything for that matter? This is all our perceptions, thoughts, concepts, ideas. All that you have, you have a, you have riches, you have a body which is young or old, you have your eyes which are blind or smart, you have your thoughts of many kinds, you have. In relation to your body you say you have the riches, in relation to your eyes you say you have a body, in relation to your mind you say you have your eyes, in relation to your thoughts in relation to I thought you say you have other thoughts. This I is claiming everything. In relation to what you say, my ego, my I thought, you are conscious.